Hi, this is Dan here again. Today what I'm working on is I'm making some custom fold down sides for my 69 Chevy. Now you've seen a previous video of this truck uh, in operation. I did a walk around on it and told you what it was about. Well, I wanted to upgrade the sides. So what I'm doing is I'm making a set out of all steel and they're just one piece. So what I'm gonna do is show you what I've got here so far. I have one that's already done. So I'm gonna show that now. Now you can see the side here, okay, has a latch here, okay. These posts can be pulled out of the bed. There's a pocket actually down inside the bed. So that can be lifted out, okay, and the side can take off the truck. So you can make basically a flatbed out of this. So this is, this is the end result basically of what I'm doing. So what I want to do is show you the process that I went through making this so as you can see there's a hinge here and I have a hinge on the other end I don't have one in the center yet because I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna need that I have to get a load of dirt in this truck and see if it pushes it and see how much flexation it has but the convenience of it is so nice because you can tip the side down and you can have your own Home Depot truck here to go get whatever you need so just flip it up latch it Latch this end right here, and you're good to go. So what I have here on the other side is I have the pieces that are already formed. I had welding shop uh, form them for me. I told them all the dimensions that I needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this together with all the respective pieces. I have everything cut, like the end caps and all that. Okay, so I'm going to tack it together first, and we'll show a process. Now, what I've done here is... I have some of these gussets go in underneath and the other one goes over the top. Now this is the top edge of the bed side. This is the bottom edge of the bed side. The reason I did that was because it gives you a nice edge when you're grabbing a hold. We'll show you the side here. When you grab a hold of this, you know, it's, it's a nice edge there. And also on the bottom side, you don't have a water trap here. And just in case that you're weld may be a little bit porous here and there it's always better to have it overlap like this so you don't get any water trapped inside of the side you don't want that because it'll fill up with water over time and it'll push it out so i'm going to put this camera up so we can see what i'm doing now Alright, we got that one tacked. Now we don't want to weld it all the way across because you're going to get too much distortion that way. This has to be clamped down to a solid surface so it can't twist. Because you're going to get a little bit anyhow, but you just have to weld it a little bit at a time. But if you clamp, I'm going to clamp it down to the bed when I get to that point. I had to push down with the screwdriver to close up the gap between this piece and this piece you don't want to have a gap in there it's too much to fill in okay so now i'm going to get the bottom side here done same process tack the end so it can't move Okay, now clamp these down tight at each end. That's a pretty nice fit. I'll start in the center. I like to start in the center and work my way out.
Now, now here we go. I have the end caps here. These are going to cap off the end of the side. They give it some strength too. Feel along the bottom edge here and make sure it's flush with the side. You don't want it to be bowed. And again, push in, make sure there's no gap, and start in the center. Okay, now we'll do the other end. Now what I want to do is not get burned. <laughs> I want to clamp it down to the edge of this bed because then I know it's, it's going to have the least amount of flexing. Okay, I'm ready to weld this. So this is going to take quite a while. It's a lot of welding here, a lot of inches. So it's going to take some time. So we'll check back in a little while when I get this thing all welded up. Okay, we're back here today. You see, we got this side all welded together. I've got the hinges, they're just tacked on here, front and rear. What we want to do is make sure we have enough clearance when it tips down. Tips all the way down real nice. Okay, so now what we can do is finish welding the hinges on. Okay, well, <clears throat> that pretty much gets those hinges well as what we can get to. What we're going to have to do is pull the pins out now and take, them, take the side off so we can finish welding the rest of it. Because it's got to be sealed around her, otherwise it'll be a rust joint. We don't want that. Now what we want to do is grind away any weld spatter, or if you got a little bit of a goober on there, it's going to get in the way of the hinge. You want to make sure all that's clean. 